Hello and welcome to the Barracuda Robot Build Diary. Barracuda is an experimental design based on Hughes from BattleBots. Credit goes to Jonathan Schultz for the original design of Huge. The idea behind this robot is in the Huge and Hydra fight, Huge could have actually gone with an option with smaller wheels and a smaller weapon bar to counteract the height of the bike rack on Hydra. Barracuda is a very wide robot for the intended weight class and it sits lower to the ground. It will have a vertical bar spinner. Now the pros of this design will be it will be easier to control because the wheels are smaller and it will also be more manoeuvrable on the steering. The downside of this design will be the components on the robot will be easier to hit using a standard vertical spinner opponent. Not only vertical spinners, other designs should be able, will have more access as well. There will be the option to add legs to the back of the robot design to help stability, but as the chassis is going to have a different shape to huge, they may not be needed. I'll explain some of this later when I, as I take you through the CAD design. So this is an early sketch I made of the robot before going on to the CAD. You've got the brushless motor driving the small pulley and a belt towards the big pulley driving the weapon bar. This is very similar setup to gun blade except it's vertical rather than horizontal. As you can see here I'm using the same motors and gearboxes as gun blade and brush drive motors. This means there's some common components between the two designs. So now we're moving on to the CAD design of the new robot. This is the first full CAD design I've done of, of a robot, so there's still plenty left to learn. This is effectively looking at the base plate, so the robot's upside down here. And this angle is right way up. So as you can see, we'll have to bend some HDP here for the top panel. So that means I need to get a new heat gun. And in this design I'll be using lots of long, high tensile M5 screws. This angle gives you a better view of the two pulleys and the weapon bar. I'll be using a 16mm shoulder bolt to hold the weapon bar in and the pulleys. This shoulder bolt will be the same length as the one I used on gun blade. This view shows the weight of all the HDP panels and the HDP wheels. This for me is one of the biggest benefits of CAD because it allows you to estimate the weight of the robot before you actually get the physical material. In this case the armour and the wheels are 1.8 kilograms. And here is the overall design of the robot in CAD from multiple angles. And at some point here I zoom in further so you can see the weapon bar and the pulleys. The brushless motor will be mounted to the robot via an aluminium plate. So that's about it for the CAD. The next picture shows you the new shoulder bolts that arrived after that. And one of the brush DSCs made by Cosmin. Who's famous for robots such as Daedalus, the beta weight. So then from the CAD I was able to actually sketch up the dimensions of the various HDP components. This one is the base plate and from this half scale drawing I was then able to draw out my cutouts on, a, on the real HDP part. So it's nice to see a process from the CAD all the way through to the physical parts. In the next video I'll move on more to the physical build. So that about wraps up this episode where I've got the new robot Barracuda to 2021. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.